everybody from around the world and welcome to this tutorial in which we will learn how to make together with Lection Sprites some kind of water effects. So let's get started. I have prepared here a scene and in this scene I like to have around um, the bottom of the scene some kind of water. And the first step we will do is to place here just a wide length sprite. So I think I already have one here in my project. Let's see, blank, all right, here it is. And now let's drop it here into the scene and let's put it on the order in the layer, let's say to five, just to make sure that it's above all other sprites, at least for this um, test here or tutorial. And as you can see, it's kind of tiny, but it's that's no problem at all for our water, really. This is something that doesn't matter. At least it has no effect on the quality or anything like that. And we go to the left, a little bit to the bottom. I think that looks pretty good now. And the next step now is to make um, a material. So let's go into the project and say create material. And let's call this just one simply um, water underscore test. And then we assign our next gen sprites FX um, liquid shader, and then we drop it into onto the sprite. And now you can see it became kind of dark. This is because um, we actually have to go here to the tint setting and then drop the alpha value to zero. And then you might notice, okay, now we see nothing. No worries. Now we have to assign a refraction map, which is basically just a normal map. And this one is basically responsible um, to disturb the, the, um, the environment, which will give it then the effect of being some kind of glass or water. So let's go and let me type in a thing. Yeah, this is something I have prepared. And now we can already see we have now some kind of water effect already. And then we can also let it move and we can do this by using a flow map. So let's see, I think I have on only this one here. And now nothing is going on here, but if we look here on the left side, um, you may see some movement. I think I need to enable animated material. It's enabled, um, let's see. Ah oh, yes, I need to ramp up the speed and now uh, you can see how the water is moving and if I press play, then it's also moving here inside the game. And how to make flow maps and how to, um, yeah, just make it how you like it to have. There, I have another tutorial which is linked below. And also the same applies on how to make refraction maps. All right, now, as you can see, it's pretty easy to make something like this. But it's a um, little problem. It actually just reflects what's behind it, but it doesn't basically show a reflection of the little character here, which should be then on the uh, basically down below here. But as you can see, it just reflects everything with which is below the water. So you could could say you could make some kind of waterfall effect with this or underwater effect, but just to make some kind of um, river. Or anything just which is supposed to be a water surface this is not really perfect but for this um, task we can use something which is called render textures and for this we use together um, a camera so first let's uh, make our render texture create and then where it was let me see uh, animation controller nope that is when a texture and we call this um, water target reflection. And now we need to go and set up a second camera, which I have already done here for this test. And then we assign our reflection um, texture here to target texture. And then also we have to make sure that on the culling mask, that we only like to render everything, but not um, the water texture itself. 
So to, you need to make sure that the water texture or water sprite um, is on the water layer, which I will do right now, because otherwise you would get some strange uh, glitches and uh, graphical problems. And now that we have this set up, we are good to go. Now let's go back to our sprite, to our water sprite, and let's enable render texture. Now you see everything became white, and now we can assign our um, water target reflection texture. And now you can see things are now starting to look more interesting, because now it shows actually our um, our little alien here below the, the, the water line here, which comes more to a water reflection. And basically this is the way how it goes. You have this two ways. The first one, as you have seen, is basically that it uh, um, basically disturbs everything uh, which is beneath it. And then we have this way by using um, a render texture. And if I press play, now if I move around the sprite, this alien here, you can see that everything works wonderful and I can also go there and maybe change the speed, make it slower or super fast and yeah you have a lot of freedom. And what else could be done? Well, the transform of the water um, render camera is set up. So as you can see I have set it as a uh, child of the main camera. And if we go to the 3D perspective, uh, whoops, you can see that they are aligned together on the um, uh, X axis. But I have moved it um, below the main camera because um, we need to uh, manually assign the, kind of the way how it reflects the texture because it's basically just. Um, I should explain it's basically putting a, a projection and then it just paint uh, the result to the texture and there are more tutorials on render textures on unity but I think it already gives you a good impression on how they work and also what I have done is that I have actually um, I'm letting the camera facing the uh, opposite direction. As you can see, I have set it to 180 degrees. So if I say zero, then it's actually looking at this direction. And then you can see it doesn't kind of fit. You can al also see here the preview. And this is why you have to make sure that it looks in the opposite direction. And you might need to fix here the clipping planes on the near side a little bit. Um, something like minus 20 or minus 10 is also good enough. Oops. And yeah, you have to move it a little bit around to see how it works for you. And also alternatively, uh, alternatively you could also make um, the, the water sprite also a parent of the um, render camera a child of the render camera and then if the camera moves around we always have the the water effect with us as you can see but yeah this this all depends on how you set up your game is your decision but you have all this creative freedom so yeah um this is how we do water together with next gen sprites i hope you could understand everything and otherwise uh, don't be afraid to ask me and I will give you then your answer as you need. And yeah, thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.